guys i am rajat batra welcome back to our youtube channel today we do have mr somnik pathak with us who is a, a analyst at deloitte at deloitte he recently got an offer of internship plus full time role for the role of analyst at deloitte today we will learn from his interview experience and will have a look on his journey journey how the interview experience was what was the hiring process how many rounds were there and so on and so forth so thanks so much for accepting our invitation uh, can we start with your brief introduction please oh uh, yeah hi rajat so thanks for having me on your channel so starting with introduction my name is somadi pathak i am currently pursuing computer engineering at thavar university and i am in my final semester of my fourth year that was a great introduction yeah. somadi so uh, could you elaborate on the hiring process and what was the main opportunity was it an off campus one or on campus one yeah it was basically an on campus opportunity uh, <clears throat> deloitte had visited our campus during the early september 2022 so there was like this two section and it was like divided into two parts the first section was for shortlisting so they had some kind of amcat based uh, style test so it had english verbal and non verbal sections so once you cleared that round you could proceed to the next interview rounds so basically after that the interviews started uh, so no. for the interviews there were like three rounds over there uh, generally like the first round was like tell me something about yourself as well as there was a like, little bit like extempore section where they would give you a topic and you have to speak about it for 2 minutes uh, after that the second section was basically the completely technical round and the major focus of that round was on my resume so whatever projects that i had done they were like thoroughly asking me what um, technologies i have used and how i implemented those projects so whatever projects you do you should know completely about them with that they had like uh, they asked me a lot of concepts about the oops dbms and basically like easy section of lead code so it was mm-hmm. like uh, the programming section was kind of easy so this is like the round 2 after that it was hr section which was kind of hr plus technical it was kind of like uh, it was 10 15 minutes a very simple uh, section also they were like uh, kind of grilling me about all the technologies that i had listed in my uh, resume so they were like asking me about like why did you use mongodb in this project and like wh- which sections where you where you will use sql or mongodb or something like that and uh, so many could you please elaborate on the very first round that was an online test that uh, which topics were there uh, which type of questions were there what was the difficulty level and so on yeah the uh, the english section if i say about it the difficulty level was not that high so if you prepare for it a little bit it will be fine but the quantitative and the qualitative section where you had to like do mathematical calculations your speed must be like uh, so like uh, good because in order to attempt them completely you need a high accuracy and speed so you have to practice for them a little bit and what was the duration of the test the duration of the test i think it was like about 60 minutes to 90 minutes i think a number of nights. questions mm, number of question each section had like about 30 questions i would say Okay, 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 okay. Means total of around ninety questions in uh, ninety around, minutes. Around maybe, yeah. Ah, uh, means uh, approximately. And approximately. you talked about and you talked about that you have been given a topic and you have to speak for it and ab uh it for around sixty seconds. So was that topic yeah. related to technology? Was it related to general awareness or what was that related to? Yeah, for me it was something like the prospect of uh, AI in the future. So I think it was mostly like that technology based only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. means they were checking basically your technique uh, technical awareness technical awareness your ability to like articulate and think on the spot all these mm-hmm. like, things they were like checking so let me summarize your entire experience for my viewers there were exactly four rounds the first was an online test where there were three section english quantitative and qualitative uh, test there were around 90 questions which you have to do in 90 minutes english was bit easy and other two section was about medium to hard level so the next round was a sort of uh, uh, he was asked to tell him uh, tell the interviewer about himself and he was given a topic related to technology awareness we'll have to explain it um, 
we have to speak for around 60 seconds or 70 seconds and the next round was a technical round where he was asked on his resume and he was also asked some uh, coding problem solving uh, questions that was basically of easy level and the third round was sort of HR round uh, where uh, it lasted for around 10 to 15 minutes where basic HR questions were asked. This was the entire interview experience of Somedic for the role of analyst at Deloitte. So thanks Somedic for sharing your value, valuable interview experience. It is it great to hear. So would you like to give some advice to your juniors that how should they prepare for such roles and what steps should they start taking right from their first year so that they can prepare well for their interview? I mean, uh, to prepare for like, if you are trying for companies like Deloitte, I would say that your um, section, like other than programming, you should like uh, focus on this English and the verbal and the non-verbal sections because they are like very important to even get a chance for the interviews. So prepare for them well. And uh, from the first year, one thing that you can do is basically create two, three very good projects that you can put on your resume. And basically, because the main importance that they put on that interview is your resume. So, and they will ask you questions about those. So make two, three good projects and like explain them really well. As yes. That's really a great advice that besides programming, you should also start picking some of good projects that will uplift your resume and will increase your chances of selection. So uh, that was all for this video. If you like this video, kindly do hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more such updates. And if you need any other help, I will put the link of Somedeep LinkedIn profile in the description below. You can connect with him. He will surely help. So thank you, Somedeep. It was my pleasure to have you on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Raj.